like to call the meeting to order. It is 6.30. We don't have any additions that I know of, but do you have any additions? Hello. Hello. Do you have any additions, Kyle? I have no additions. Great. <laughs> um, so review of minutes. Do we have minutes? We have lots of minutes, thanks to everybody who pitched in and got them to Team us approach. for review. Team approach? What the heck? It works. <laughs> so which minute? Oh, we've got December 18th, January 8th. Did you circulate the amended versions, Gina? Yeah. Okay. These are minutes. January 15th. Oh, this is all on the website. January 22nd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got those amended versions out many minutes ago. February 12th. Well, many seconds ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Makes it, makes it. Wow. So we have a lot of minutes to look over. So that sense about the historic integrity. Is that accurate? That's what she said. And this is update on July 20, 23rd storm repairs in FEMA. Which minutes are you looking at? I'm looking at the I didn't December know that 18th. Retains as historic. Well, I don't know that there was any. I thought it was determined that there was not a historic significance. It, what it was was that there is no longer. That is what the what the determination was. I think it likely was a historic culvert before. Oh, it was? It may okay. not have been specifically, but because of the damage, it was oh, okay. considered historic. See, I, I didn't get that sense from that mm -hmm. culvert, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because reading the sense, it's like, oh, that was historic. Yeah, I think I, okay. most historic culverts are kind of deemed historic, or most stone culverts are deemed historic. Oh, it was stone? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a stone culvert. Okay. I mean, it's still there. It just... Failed. It failed. <laughs> but there's no lettering on it, which helps a lot because the one up in the center has no I don't know that there was ever any details yeah. to that effect. Um, yeah. I sent the state photos of yeah. the culvert, yeah. um, of the damage, and that's based on all the information yeah, yeah. that she had at her available. She said it would have no longer retained its historic right. culture. Good enough. It's all the same at the end of the day. Get replaced, and we don't have to worry about the historic. Yeah, it would have been a big difference if it was historic. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> I know, I know. But that whole process yeah. kind of held everything up for Sodom Bond. Yeah. So, we're going to approve these minutes um, date by date. Probably better. Yeah. I think that's what we should do. So, how is everyone doing on reading the December 18th minutes? You good? Yeah. <coughs> Nick? I'm going to stay on wasn't it? So, what about you, Carl? Yeah, so uh, under the Kellogg Hubbard Library uh -huh. discussion, yeah. uh, Dan Roberg's name is spelled with a G at the end. Oh, right. Who's, That's a misprint. 
Who is um, who's noting the changes here? I, I, this is what I emailed. So yeah, you've emailed you, you, them, you have, so yeah. I, you know, either Rosie can make the changes yeah. or I have the okay. board documents. On <laughs> okay. Run. And under the consideration, a little lower down, consideration of the 2024 town meeting yeah. warning, Mr. Hess seconded the motion. Other than that, I have nothing. Okay. They look good. So I just think we should go through them and approve them or whatever. I agree. As we go. I agree. So we're looking for a motion to approve the minutes as amended. I think Zoe made it. Oh, I'll, Zoe, you I'll made the motion? motion to approve the December 18th minutes as amended. Second. Oh, very good. Seconded. Yeah. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The eyes appear to have it, they do have it. Okay. And uh, just so you know, Nick, your vote is not crucial with you know, three other people on the select board. We constitute a quorum, and so we can pass things uh, on, on their own. But should it come to a situation where the minutes are up for approval and you weren't at a meeting and, uh, and your vote is necessary to get it to pass, then uh, it's perfectly okay to approve minutes that you haven't been here for. Okay. Right, he can vote on them. Yeah, and, and regardless, I mean, you could have voted just now. Okay. Yeah, you could have you could have voted. Okay. Okay. So January eighth. So, the in-person public attendance, where it says arrow, that is shorthand for Carol Canavino, and both she and Janice Walrafen are from all together now. And again, this is what I've emailed in. That's the only. Suggestion I have for a change. The green barrier was an addition to the agenda because I thought that was already on the agenda. That. Not for the January. It wasn't. That was the. Last oh, that was one. the next one. Yeah. Oh, right. That was for a different one. Different meeting. Okay. Yep. Any other uh, proposed changes to the minutes for January 8th? Wrong year. What's that? Wrong year. Ah. <laughs> oh. That's important. <laughs> that is important. Yeah, no kidding. That's a very good catch. Yeah, good catch. Are you allowed to make catch uh, <laughs> if he wasn't here? <laughs> uh, anything else? I don't hear any proposed changes. I move to approve the January 8th meeting minutes as amended. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. That's January 8th, January 15th. Check date is on this one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Looks good to me. That's quick. <laughs> I did these. Yes. I you did stated these. previously how I would approach minutes. Yeah. I, I think it's fine. But, you know, some people like the novella, novella approach. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to get some minutes done. <laughs> not so, me, not so much. Okay. Uh, no more, no uh, proposed amendments to the January 15th? I don't hear any. Maybe we should entertain a motion. Or I move to approve the January 15th, 2024 amendments as submitted. Um, <laughs> minutes <laughs> as submitted. <laughs> There's some mumbo jumbo going on. Yeah. Do you get a second? Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes have it. January 15th. The next one, next ones are January 22nd.
see, top of page three, when we decided to move the February 5th meeting to February 12th, was that the same time that we decided to move the meeting from the 19th to the 26th? Don't recall. Oh, I think it was. I yeah. think so. Yeah, I think we were scheduled to have it yeah. first and third as yeah. usual. Right. So we could so move the February 5th meeting over. to February 12th, comma, and the February yeah. 19th meeting to February 26th. Second. Any further discussion? <coughs> All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. The aye. ayes appear to have, they do have. That's January 22nd. The next one's on February 12th. On page two, consideration of liquor and tobacco license. Um, end of the paragraph. The Paragraph right before the motion, uh, spell tobacco license with only one S, oh. and then yes. get and Scott right. Then get rid of passed unanimously. Yep. Right. You, did you abstain? No, no, it's, it's just, just it's redundant. It's in the wrong random. Place. It's oh. in the wrong place. Yeah. yeah. Get rid of the uh, passed unanimously at the end of the paragraph. <laughs> there, it belongs at the oh, end. Oh right, of the right, right, right. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And then yeah, consideration of CAI Technologies tax map. Uh, that passed unanimously. All right. All right. And name change. And again, this is you don't have to write it in, Zoe, because I emailed you the, the oh, annotated okay. version. Uh, consideration of name chains for for emergency planning committee that passed unanimously. Bottom of page two. Yeah. And then top of page three, uh, I suggest striking the first two sentences. I just adapted language from the annotated agenda that I thought was clearer. Where is this? Sure. Um, the first update on EMFD meeting schedule, yeah. strike the first two sentences and replace it with the Callis Select Board requested that the East Montpelier Fire Department EMFD meeting schedule with the select boards. I misspelled, but. Somebody can take care of that. Be the second Thursday in April, August, and December. The previously agreed schedule was the second Thursday in April and August with the December meeting occurring on the first Thursday. And then under motion to adjourn, um, we can joke around about vanilla meetings, but uh, don't I don't think know. that Scott belongs in the minutes. Scott wasn't I was going to take it out. Yeah, okay. I thought, he was, I thought Scott was, okay. was going to mess with Scott. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> we, we, I, I we're sure in favor of messing with Scott. Yeah. <laughs> I assume that if he was here and read the minutes thoroughly, he would have noticed that. Yeah, yeah. Well, the second was inaudible. Yeah, it was... Um, <clears throat> It was in the, in the Zoom recording. I couldn't tell. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Are, are you taking and minutes tonight, there, by the way? Yeah. She okay. is. Super. She's, thank you. But that or she's emailing people all the time because she's <laughs> typing. <laughs> so either she's got a lot of other interests and, or she's taking minutes. And there, were, there could have been more remote attendance. I couldn't tell from the file that I had. Yeah, it's good to take notes on that. Um, Right, I wasn't doing yeah. that last time. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for everyone pitching in to get this yeah. thought up. Yeah. Very nice. 
So I move to approve the February 12th, 2024 select board minutes as amended. Second. And we have a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Please say aye. aye. The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Okay. I believe we are through the minutes. The next item on our agenda is public comment. Do we have public here? I see people up here on the Zoom. Uh, but they're not commenting, so I guess I won't worry about it. Oh. Uh, I'm here, but I'm not going to comment. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're already behind. Board work session to prepare for municipal coordinator interview, which we're supposed to be doing right now. Um, <coughs> we go in executive session? Might as well. Sure. Because we're going to have to be in it for the interview anyway, and also we needed to talk about the whole thing, so it'd be good to go in executive session. Somebody going to... I move to go into executive session to discuss a personnel matter with the usual reference to the statute. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes have it. And now that we're out of executive session, I would like to make a motion to authorize the town administrator to offer the municipal coordinator position to the agreed upon candidate at the rate of $25 an hour. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Ready to move to the next item? Next item, consideration of town garage project owner's representative services bid response. And... One response, that's what I thought. Yep. And what are the particulars on that? What's that? So has the, here it is. So we have one applicant. Is there something uh, you can tell us about this, Andy? Who, who interviewed the? Oh, they're on the on right here, right? That the owner's representative. Mm -hmm. Who's on the? Oh, he's not on the Zoom call anywhere. So, did we interview this person, or who did interview him? No, Andy. I sent this Nothing. to you and Andy. Yeah, that's so, all I saw. So, I Andy, what do you think? That'd be helpful. That'd be helpful. What's that? I, this is Andy. I can fill you in a little bit if that would be helpful. Please. Yeah, any information is, would be great. Um, I spoke with uh, the architects, uh, and they spoke highly of the company and uh, uh, that this guy's worked with. Said they're very good. Um, I I talked with them a little bit about the budget. Um, it seemed a little high, and uh, I think it was because that they had a lot of time on site. Uh, during construction, which might be excessive. It seemed like it was excessive to me. And um, and David Roy, the architect, agreed. He said, I don't think he's going to need that much time on site. So so I think it'd be worth, I, I would recommend going with them unless there's some reason, you because we sent it out to four firms, and that's the only response we got. Right. Uh, we could try beating the bushes some more if you need to get another one, but I would suggest <laughs> negotiating with these guys and try and get the budget down a bit. And that, would that be primarily during the construction phase? Oh, well, wait a minute. We yeah. Got, yeah, but we've also got the pre-design. You're thinking that 40 hours is going to be fairly accurate? They should be plenty. Plenty. But they're not, we're not holding them that to that 40 hours. Or what? It's it's billed by the hour, is it not? I have to look in there and see. It is. It's billed by the hour. <laughs> yeah. So. So they're getting uh, eighty five. In the end, an their hour. scope is going to be how much they're needed to yeah. work. Yeah. Because I 
I yeah. do believe we need to get someone on board sooner versus later um, because there's, you know, there's a lot going on with this project and well, how there's... they're going to be fielding and being your point person to they're, they're the, gonna be construction manager, they're going right? to be, yeah, they're going to be your point person for this project. Um, yeah, and the first thing though is we've got to do the pre-design schematic design and then it gets presented to the townspeople. Correct. For a bond. Uh, so that's number one. And we don't even know if the project's going to get approved by the, by the rest of the town. Mm -hmm. But of course it's good to have all these costs delineated, but number one, you we could have to have authorize that on board. them for oh, no, we'll design, have them, we'll schematic have them for the design. Rest of it. I know, but yeah, right could, now, say, right, hey, right. this is what, because unless the project is yeah. approved by the voters, exactly. it's not going to continue anyway. And then that scope can be further defined from there. But yes, in but, the end, I mean, you know, yeah. Guthrie and I recently had a meeting with. Uh, with the architect, I mean, this person needs to start attending those meetings, especially since I'm not going to be here. Mm -hmm. So. And, yeah. and this person understands that uh, there's a, a line in here saying the above estimate reflects VIS owner's representative services using available information yeah. based on the actual needs of service. This may decrease or increase by mutual agreement of VIS in East Montpelier, which is, sounds like what we're talking about. Yeah, it sounds like there's a lot of flex in, yeah. in the cost. Yeah. So, so do we want to beat, beat the bushes no. some more or nope. go, go with this if we have good signs from the architect that... Yeah, uh, it's a is good this, firm to work with. Yeah, and, I think the hourly rate is. I think we've talked about this before. It sounds like it's a it's the going rate. The thing that's going to be flexible, of course, is the amount of hours they put in. But it sounds like they expect that. Um, and if we feel that this is the right person for the job, the right fit, Andy would know that. I would say that we move forward because they're already designing it. Mm -hmm. We already need to get the the design is already coming forth. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, Andy? Yes, I, I would support that. Yeah. So that's what we'll do. So moving forward means we just taking gotta, this and translating it into a contract? We have to have a contract with them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But we also so we'd authorize we, the town administrator to draw Execute the contract, and but to for these people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And authorize you to sign it. Okay. The I'm, contract. I move to. Uh, or do we think? Or do you think we should look over the contract as a select board again? Well, I can ask them for a draft of their yeah. contract. Yeah, you can send it to us. Um, and then I can, yeah, I can send that to you all. Um, the other question I would have is, do you want them to? I mean, I think we need to invite them to a select board meeting because I think the select board has to determine how you want to interact with them. Obviously, they need to get connected with WLA. Um, yeah. And, you know, you all have to define what you expect of them um, right. as well. So what, how do you, what is it that you want them to do through this pre-design schematic design? Because I think they need to help bring you the information from the architect. They um, do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, mean, I, I sent heard. Andy and Seth yeah. what two versions, two ideas the architects have, but we have to figure out how that starts coming to you, but right. it, it's not in a format right now to really just bring to you. I would rather someone that's managing the process be the one to bring that to you. Mm -hmm. um, so engaging them as soon as possible in this would be important. So, so there's been no assumption of how frequently they'd meet with us, what that looks like. That's why I get baked so, into yeah, the contract. So okay. yeah. really, again, I think that's pretty to much going to come to most meet, uh, any meeting that there's stuff comes up. They're going to have to come to every meeting. That's cost that's going to get eaten out of this. So. Do we have a sense of how much of these meetings they would attend via Zoom versus in person? That's a good question. I don't know how that's done in 2024 in this business. Right. Andy, what's your sense of that? I, I think what Gina said is great. Is that, you know, get them together with the select board I would come to and uh, and talk about what what how they would envision that because they, they don't need to travel here you know every time but no. we do establish i think a personal relationship up front mm -hmm. is that mark on on the zoom who is that mark Sorry. on the zoom i can't see who the, that person is in the middle of the zoom screen 
That's Guthrie. 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 Is that Guthrie? Guthrie. Okay. <laughs> Guthrie. I gotta put on my glasses, I guess. Yeah, you want some? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're also, and this will be for the slide for me. It's also defining how you bring this to voters, and I think this consultant could be a help to you. Yeah. Potentially, and also creating whatever that is um, when it's time to start presenting this to the voters. So. I think that's also in the scope of the architects for the yeah. pre-design thing that they're going to help prepare materials for that. Yeah, we talked to them about that. Yeah. Uh, but he'll be part of that process. Mm -hmm. So I think that we can go ahead, get the contract, and then establish how our relationship is going to work, play out. Um, you know, Zoom meetings probably will work fine for him, especially or her, whoever it is, is especially if they got to travel ways. I mean, you if they're in need, town, you might need them for the kickoff just to establish yeah, that, and then which is always nice. Yep. They could come into the first meeting after they get hired. Yeah, I was about to say the next meeting, but the next meeting is next week, and that's the town yeah. forum. Probably not yeah. an ideal meeting because no. we can't set a time. So the meeting after that. Yeah, the meeting yeah. after that. They should come in, and then we should talk about how our relationship is going to work. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'll invite them to the March 18th meeting, and yep. we'll probably kick. The, they'll be the beginning yep. of the meeting. <clears throat> yeah. That'd be good. Okay. Okay. That sound good, Andy? Yes. I think that sounds great. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me. Uh, so did we pass a motion? No. No. I don't do we? Think so. <laughs> I oh, think we, we got to pass right? the motion. So yeah. the motion is to authorize the town administrator to. Um, actually, you were going to ask them for I'm a draft. I'm going to ask them for a draft and then so send it out to us. I can, so you do meet next week. We can yeah. review the contract and, and discuss we'll it that. then. Yeah, okay. perfect. And then that way, then we can yeah. kind of go from there. I'll still go ahead and invite them to the March 18th meeting. So yeah, we're contract contract is just yeah. business that needs to be yeah. done. But um, yeah. by consensus, we're asking you to get a draft contract. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so we okay. don't need a motion. No. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Slightly ahead of schedule. Is that, our, is that a problem to press the cycle? <laughs> uh, ARPA update, annual reporting preview. What do we need to do on that? So, the gist of all of this is um, we are mostly spent with our ARPA. Um, we have $9,600 remaining of the outstanding commitments. Most of it is spent um, to date. So, um, I'm trying to get us a little overcommitted because like the phone system, for example, with RB Tech came in under. So I told RB Tech, I met with Ruben on Friday, I'm less concerned about them going over budget, more concerned about them coming under budget um, because we need to spend our ARPA funds. And if they come in under their commitment, the money would be lost um, if not spent. Um, you shouldn't be in that position. So it's a good idea to yeah. overcommit ourselves. With so I, I'm trying. So what I've done is done a little refiguring myself. Like, for example, we had bought a locking cabinet for the vault um, at the re recommendation of VLCT because we haven't been hit by it yet. But there's these First Amendment audits that happen that people come in and say, I have a public right to view your records, which they do. Um, so VLCT recommended you have a locking cabinet in your vault um, where you can actually put documents that need to remain confidential that have private information and whatnot on them. So we did that. I put that to the general fund. I moved it into ARPA um, because it just got us a little bit over. Um, and then I asked Guthrie uh, what he needed, forgetting that he had already told me way back when that they needed a new pressure washer. So I'm also coming to the select board, or Guthrie and I are, um, and Guthrie can fill you in more on the pressure washer, but to see if you would let us use the remaining $96-ish hundred dollars uh, for Guthrie to, I mean, we need more than that, but to buy a pressure washer. Um, so, I mean, I kind of explained the pressure washer, but I'll let Guthrie speak to it. We'd also thrown out the idea at one point of uh, using some of this money to invest in some of those fixed speed uh, signs that have a speed limit and then the radar and it reads your your speed right, as something right. that would be uh, something that would be a, a firm visible investment that we would perhaps otherwise wouldn't make 
and we know that people in the village um, like to, to see like to, to see lower speeds. Lower speeds. <laughs> Mute your speakers, please. Mine, mine speakers are muted. Oh, okay. It's coming from that direction, but it's maybe... It's coming. Right there. We're using yeah, okay. these little speakers. Yeah, okay. Okay. Can you guys still hear us out there um, in Zoom land? I would hope they have a chance to speak when it's convenient. I can't quite tell if somebody else is speaking right now. Deb, can you hear us this right now? Deb. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, we, we had a little glitch there, but I, I think it's okay for her to speak. Yeah. yeah. Is it okay for me to speak right now? Well, yeah. I don't really know, but you can try. It depends okay. what you depends what you say. Okay, you can hear me. Okay, um, I just want to remind you that the listeners were the first speakers at the September 11th hearing at which you guys were soliciting ideas for spending ARPA money. And we pointed out that there were three already existing categories that we had requests for. One was furniture. We requested a file cabinet, a fireproof file cabinet. It had been requested in December 2022, thinking it would be put on maybe the 2024 select board budget. But then we brought back this request in September last year, saying, you know, we just realized that it could fall under furniture under ARPA, and so you can get it with ARPA money. And we haven't heard anything back about that. Is that still on the table or what's happening with that? So I can speak to that. Um, okay. Those cabinets are extremely expensive. I yeah. did reach out to the furniture company that got our furniture here. He wasn't even sure that he would commit to getting it into our building because of the weight of those. I also don't think it's prudent to put that type of weight on this floor um, in this building. Oh, wait, wait. I'm so. sorry. I looked it up online and it was like $1,200. I'm don't. i not sure what you're thinking about, but I'm just I'm looking at something. Like, I'm talking we about already have, We already have three of them. I know. I'm actually concerned about the three that you have and the weight on this floor for anybody that's been in the basement. So. Okay. Okay. So what's the next? You had some other uh, three things you said. Yes, we talked about a laptop. There are laptops for I think every other employee at the place there, and we could use one not only to work from home but also in the field when we make site inspections because we could access our files and also to be able to work from home. But we, okay. we, you know, we sometimes have three listers in the office, so having that laptop would allow all three of us to be online at the same time. But we've also got these two other uses for it. In the field, we, we've been going out every Saturday and spending, you know, four hours doing inspections and putting it on paper, and then having to come back and translate the paper into the file. And there are times when I'm trying to work from home, and I can I can access like the lister email, but I can't get into a file to do the research I'd have to do to respond to an email, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. And then the, third, the third thing was the um, digitization of the surveys that, you know, we, we had been told that S Denise was going to come back and she was going to scan them in on the scanner that we had in-house. Um, the select board approved a quote to have a higher avenue to do that at a previous select board meeting. That's That issue has already been resolved. On the surveys? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then, then um, just let us know when which surveys are going out of house because they're going to have to go out of house i assume right yes, because they will. There, there are some that we need, there's some that we need to scan in for our updating of the tax maps and so if we have to we'll deal with it the old way but we just don't want to need them and then find out that they're gone for a month or something do you know how long they would be out of the building they're not out gone very long i i don't know specifics there rosie, was a little rosie bit will be managing about. that process when it comes yeah, to, yeah and communicating with everyone in the office accordingly yeah. She also said okay. if there are yeah, we're, we're, we're interested in the most recent ones, obviously, not, not the old yeah. ones. I don't know if we're going to start with the old ones or start with the new ones, um, but whatever. So, um, uh, so the laptop and the, the fireproof file cabinet, again, it seems okay. to me that 90% 90, 90 of the weight of that file cabinet is all the damn paper that's in it. It's, it's full to the hilt of paper, you know, which is pretty heavy. And we've got three of them already, and I... I'm not sure, is it really that much more weight to have the fireproofing in the walls of the file cabinet? I don't know, Guthrie. Tell us how how easy was it to get you to get that very small lateral cabinet out that was a fireproof cabinet? You're I think it weighed three. 900 pounds in and of itself. It was brutal. <laughs> wow. It was not fun to move at all. 
All right. Well, okay. At some point, if we can't get a fireproof cabinet, we may need just a new file file cabinet, just a regular old, you know, normal file cabinet, because the one we've got is kind of dicey. We have a hard time locking it. <laughs> we have to fiddle around with all these little things inside and just get them to line up just right. And a couple of times we came in in the morning and opened up a drawer and realized, well, we may have locked the file cabinet, but that drawer wasn't locked. You know, so it'd be nice to at least upgrade that to a regular file cabinet, which wouldn't be that expensive, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah. And then the laptop is a serious request. So I don't know what's happening with that. Has anybody even looked into that? I don't know what a laptop costs, but it can't be that much. Well, we've just... We've discussed that back and forth, and I can't remember the downsides, but there were some. But we can discuss it again. I don't know. You can talk. It, it seems that it seems that everybody else in the office has got a laptop, and nobody ever asked us if we needed one, and we could definitely use one. Okay, we'll take that under under consideration. So we're going to move on with the other thoughts on the ARPA money. We have yours. Thank you. Um, so with the uh, pressure washer, yeah, the current pressure washer is old, basically nearing the end of its life or about to require significant investment to keep it going. So that's why we're going to have to get one anyway. So we have ARPA funds. Right. Seemed like a good use of those. Is this, is this uh, hot water? Yes, it's, and not only we run hot water through it, but it creates hot water as well. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. It's the former power and pressure washer. And you, are, you have one now that you're using? Yeah, it's got 2,053 hours on it as of the other day. And at 2,500, the recommendation is a complete overhaul or replacement of the engine. And... We replaced the water pump, the high pressure pump at 1200 hours. So in theory, if we had another 1200 on that one, 2400, we would be looking at another water pump and an engine replacement. At that point, I don't know why we would keep it. But what you got a Honda engine on it also? This one has a Briggs, the one that we have. Yeah. Yeah. If we service it once a year and it's got a remote filter and all that for the oil. It's actually it's set up really nice. Just in the replacement that we looked at, the few that we looked at, one of them is an exact replacement. It's the exact same model. So are you going to sell the old one off or what? I think we should if, if it's something you want to move forward with. Yeah, I'd be interested in making a bid on it for the farm because the hot water works a lot better than the cold water. That's what they keep telling me. <laughs> but we just, we wash a ton of equipment, you know, and we go for pressure washers like crazy. So if you want to take a bid on it. But anyway. And I'm also trying to get this buttoned up before the March 31st right. reporting for yeah, ARPA. Yeah, understood. Um, I mean, I, I technically there's some like money in here that's not, that is in the capital budget or our capital what do you call it? Fund. The capital plan. All right, capital plan. That's we can pull back out for the garage or whatever. Oh yeah, we right. we have. Remember, we it's, I know we have yeah we have freed up funds in the right. capital reserve. Exactly. Thanks to the use capital of reserve. Funds. That was the Correct. word I was looking for. The only so there's you know one flaw in the thousand. capital plan is this pressure washer culvert th thawer is not even in there. So yeah. technically, the town holds no budget for this replacement. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. Um, it's not in our operating operating budget or our capital plan. No, understood. so utilizing ARPA funds for it, yeah, it makes would sense. be a nice. Right, and it falls in line with the server and the yeah. phone system and some of the other things we've done that likewise are not in the capital plan. Yeah, this makes sense. What's the green in this? Document? Those are the items that are not yet complete. Everything okay. else is done. Okay. Would it be worthwhile? We've talked about you know some of the. Commitments that we made for the ARPA funds, those are special things that we never would have done without the ARPA funds. Other things are, we've used the term shell game, uh, the understanding that it's important to get the ARPA funds committed 
to projects uh, that they are eligible for, even if they would normally have been part of the capital or the operating funds of the town. Uh, and that we could always, as you say, just take them back <coughs> out of there and if we wanted to free up some uh, money for some other special projects with this. Could we just quickly go down this list and tick off which ones were the ones that fell outside of our normal budgetary process? Like broadband enhancement, hundred thousand dollars to um, to the, the fiber is obviously one of those. I mean, d does that does that make sense? To do, use our time together now to do that to get an overview. Well, I mean, there's only really two big the, items. There's in there. there's only two items that would have gone to the capital reserve. Exactly. And that is the Mack truck and the purchase of the fire engine chassis. Yeah. Those Server are... replacement is not in the capital plan. Would mm -hmm. have which was never thought of. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing else on this list. Um, had, was already pre-planned for by the town. Okay. I'm just thinking of replacing the town office phone system, for example. It was not we, in the capital plan. We may not have budgeted for it, but it is just a, a foreseeable expense. If you're not planning for it in your capital plan, you're not really considering it a foreseeable expense. I don't really agree with that. It wasn't in any way. It was an unbudgeted item in all aspects. It may not have been foreseen, but it was foreseeable. Whereas well, I don't know about some that. of these other things like um, like the donations to the nonprofits, those were just things that we did because we wanted to use the money for, uh, for that uh -huh. sort of thing. We, As a town, we do not have to do that sort of thing. No. And the mold remediation. Right. The oil tank needed to be replaced. Building needed to be repaired. Yeah. So what, what are you looking for? A, I'm just trying to get a sense of how much of this, and, and maybe I'm framing it the wrong way, um, but I'm just trying to get a sense of how much of this is stuff that we've already done uh, just because we had the ARPA funds and we thought it'd be a good expenditure of the money, and how much is part of our normal process that we put into uh, the ARPA um, rubric as part of a shell game that we could use later. There's only those two things that we can pull. That fire truck, of course, we'd already approved it. Yeah. And the money's there. Yeah. But we designated as ARPA money to take care of the deadline, mm -hmm. but we can pull that money back out. Yeah. The same with the Mack truck. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the money has been spent on some items that we deem worthy of uh -huh. our ARPA money. Like the broadband, that's something we wouldn't normally get. Exactly. And the same with the Twin Valley and the trails and the All Together Now and the Histor Hysterical Society. Those aren't things we would normally do, mm -hmm. but we have the money. And the town garage RFP development we would normally do, but we didn't have yeah. budgeted for that. Yeah. Right. And okay, some so of the things that we did, like the salaries and wages, that normally would have to uh, be taken out of our... Our tax pay, our taxpayers. Right. right. So to lighten the tax load on them and to keep the increase in our tax rate minimal, that's what we did. Sure, and you, you can know. say that for, for anything. Oh that yeah. We see our well, yeah, that's for. true. Yeah. I mean, some of the stuff we could get, we could get by without. You know, the town office furniture. That was a nice thing to do. We had the money. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of new staff. Um, they have some expectations that when they come into this environment, that you know things are going to be functionally. And nice and, and comfortable and better than yeah, they were. A good working environment. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So you know, there's that's like the East Four Corners Schoolhouse mold remediation. We wouldn't normally have thirty thousand dollars to give to that project, yeah. but yeah. it seemed like a worthy project. They're working hard. They got matching funds. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. So I think that's pretty clear. Mm -hmm. Are you are you thinking that it needs further explanation, or are you? Thinking about, no, I'm you know, in the, okay, yeah. or are you thinking about a town meeting? You know, can we defend our purchases, etc.? Right. I mean, that's a worthy thought. Yeah, and I appreciate that, mm -hmm. but I feel pretty comfortable with that how we allocate the funds. I'm just trying to think about how much flexibility we have in looking at new uh, bonus projects, if it were, as as uh, you might say, for using our money. Well, we have some money in there that we could use. Mm -hmm. You know, we have those two items that we yeah. took in, in and out. That total we the total show game, of 216,000. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's okay. pretty much it. So anyway, moving forward with the request for the pressure washer, what does everybody think? A 
I'm not really hearing any objections. I think it seems to make sense. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then put the other one out for bid. The old one. <laughs> okay, so oh, where are we? Total remaining to spend. That's because those projects aren't quite finished up. Yeah. Tina? Yeah. Okay. So are we good? And Do just to update you on the IT projects, I met with Ruben with RB Tech on Friday, and we will be, he is going to ensure the server is replaced before April 30th. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. So we're authorizing the purchase of the pressure washer culvert thar, culvert thar and a trailer. That's what it looks like. Out of our ARPA funding. Yeah. Yep, ten thousand five hundred up to <coughs> total total. Yeah. Okay. I think we need a motion for that. So moved. Kyle made the motion. Is that enough for you, Zoe? Do you want? It, do you want it spelled out? More, please. Okay. <laughs> I move to authorize the town purchase of a pressure washer slash culvert. Culvert Thar and trailer there too for, for a cost of up to $10,345, if I'm doing my math correctly. Out of the remaining ARPA funds. Out of the ARPA funds, thank you. I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. <coughs> so okay. So we overdrawn. Did we just pull that out of capital? Well, yeah. <coughs> yeah, this would probably cover up with general funds. So the next thing on our agenda is consideration of annual highway financial plan. And that we have a, is... We have a draft version in your packet, but Seth, you actually have. Oh, the original? I took away the red at the top where I said it was a draft because I did get a quote back from Pike Industries um, and assuming approximately $400,000 for Town Hill Road repaving is fair. So we can go ahead and, if you're comfortable with this document, move forward with signing, if the select board is, with signing it tonight. So that has to be in the plan, right? Financial plan. They oh, you put you in the maintenance. Ask, yeah, okay. They asked you to estimate. Yeah. It was technically in there last year. We just yeah. didn't move forward because we didn't get a grant. But we're going to try to get a grant again. Yes. And hopefully we'll repave Town Hill this year. Right. Exactly. So what's... Oh, you sign here. Here it is. Obviously, I've been around for a dozen of these or so. But um, how is this going to be used? <laughs> By whom? <laughs> Uh, it's a part of our requirement to with VTrans. Every year we have to fill this complete this document. Period. Yeah. It's a requirement. <laughs> because they said so. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So I think we need a motion. You yeah. really don't Sorry. because you all sign it. Okay. So as long as you all are good with signing it. Oh, do we then, agree with signing it? Are we all good with signing it? Sure. Okay. And we have to. Certify that the funds raised by municipal taxes are equivalent to or greater than the sum of at least $300 per mile of the yep. roads. That's the same I think we can do that. that. We've had every time. Exactly. That number never changes. Okay, I signed that. And meanwhile, I'm going to go to the next item. I'm Consideration of annual. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I didn't see anything else on, for me there on the agenda, unless you got anything. Um, I think we're good, Andy. All right. Thank you all. Thank you for um, tuning in. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. <clears throat> um, consideration of annual certification of compliance for town, road, and bridge standards and network inventory. Another form you signed. Yeah. Time this, of year right here. Rubber yeah. stamp. Yeah. Oh, you can date on this one. 
Okay. Um, so we all sign that. Then the next item is consideration of grant application for Town Hill Road paving project. So it kind of looked exactly like last year's, except shortly before this meeting, I got a uh, an updated quote from Pike Industries that I will insert into this PDF to send to the state. But um, I just want to apply for paving for Town Hill Road and hope that yeah we get awarded funds yeah. this year. Yeah, we didn't get any grant last year, right? No, we were no. denied last year. Yeah. Well, we've we've been successful in getting paving grants. So. Well, we. But they're not going to give them to when us. When they showed year. me last year, the way we're ranked, we're actually ranked fairly high. Yeah. Um, for earning funds, so I'm hoping since we didn't get it last year, yeah, right. Even a little bit higher this year. We I think so. Get the funds this yeah, year. I thought that would be. I bet we get it this year. We don't we'll get it the next year. When was the last time this was repaved? That was shortly after you. So and we got on the select board. board. It was right, and that's been at least twelve years, maybe. Yeah, 2010 you joined in 2011? Maybe, Around there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and I remember I brought it up right away. I'm like, yeah. we got 400 something thousand dollars for paving. Let's start the paving. Yeah. And uh, we did. And that was the first one we did. Yeah. So that's been over 10 years. Yeah. And the projection was for shim and overlay, I think it was seven. Seven, yeah. Yeah, so we've done well. Mm -hmm. And the roads held up well. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just shim and overlay. Is that just shim and overlay again, uh, Guthrie? No, it would actually be milling off a tiny bit, and then all oh, yeah. the way So it'd be. They just got to mill it to get the ruts out of it. Yep, mill it to get the ruts out, crack seal it, and then. But the crack sealing isn't in the actual quote, so. Okay, they, and then. Uh, and then and the and didn't get that figured out in the last week, so. Okay. Okay. Um. So, on the grant. What do, what do we need to do for the grant application? I don't think you really, I'll apply and then yeah. if we get the grant, yeah. they'll send me back an yeah. agreement and yeah. I would bring that to you yeah. to authorize yeah. me to sign it. Yeah. Um, so, so really, by this consensus, is more just, we're authorizing yeah, just, you to yeah. submit the grant application. Yeah, this yep. is just making sure you're, for some reason, wouldn't want me to submit for funds for Town mm -hmm. Hill. Okay. I think we'd get in trouble if we stopped you. Yeah. That sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the next thing here is the town treasurer report, monthly financial reporting package, delinquent tax collector report. Uh, oh, so we just have it. Do we have it to look over? Or? Yeah. I gave you, she wrote, you have something that looks like this in your packet. Oh. That is the report from the treasurer. Probably like. Buried it somewhere. Oh, yeah. Right here. Gotcha. So one important piece was Michelle rolled over funds of the CD at North Country Federal Credit Union that was at a rate of 1.7% and is now at a rate of 5.2%. Wow. That was a good move. Yeah. It's a good credit union. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any opinions on that? I do, actually. <laughs> uh-huh. Interest rates are obviously up. So no tax sales, which is a good thing in a way. Yeah, our delinquent tax amount is tiny. It's the smallest I've ever seen since I've been on Yeah, mm -hmm. by far, by far. It's always been six figures. Good deal. Anything jump up at you in the accounts report? No. It's amazing, always the same people. Yep. Huh. Okay, anybody have any questions? Nada. Oh, consideration of Canon Copier Contract Renewal. 
So this is the main copier for the office. Oh. Um, and essentially, it's just getting a new machine. Um, yep. But the price is technically a little bit less. Um, it's essentially the same at 163 per month, um, except the, and the same cost for black and white um, images. But uh, color copies, actually, the cost goes down um, with the new machine. Sounds good. I'm good with it. It's either that or our price goes up to keep this machine <laughs> to go on a oh, month yeah. by month contract. So, uh -huh. um, so makes sense to just get a new one. It does. Yeah. And the, um, the price includes um, all the copies that we want to make up to a certain amount. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it, and then uh, it includes toner. And right. So it's, yeah. Service. And maintenance. Yeah. 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 And, and that amount, is that anywhere near what we use? What? The, the, the maximum amount of copies included? In oh, we always year. have extra costs for copies. We use... We do? Yeah. I use a lot. We actually use more paper now than the office has in the past. Okay. Really? Huh. And are those different for... Different people like different quantities of paper. Are those for internal use or are they for uh, things that we can get reimbursed for? There are certain records that we get reimbursed for. Well, if, if there's paid. someone doing land records yeah. and making copies, yeah, for that, of course. Mm -hmm. But is it a small fraction? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. It's a very small fraction. Yeah. Okay. With online land records, right. not that much. Yeah. Okay. So you need a motion? Yes, please. Okay. I move to authorize the town administrator to renew the contract with Canon Copiers. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The eyes appear to have it. They do have it. Uh, the next thing are the warrants, which are right here. What's that corporate billing for that truck? What the heck does that mean? That's Allegiance. It's, uh, <clears throat> if you look at the A, Allegiance, that bill, that's yeah. who that is. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot what the check for this one. Sheriff did something for five hundred and seventy hours or five hundred and seventy dollars. What time period is that for? The bill is in there. I don't yeah. know that okay. off the top of my head. Okay. Have you um are they in communication with you regularly? No. Yeah. Okay. You just yeah. do their stuff presumably. Yeah. Send us a bill now and then. Yeah. Okay. Bill monthly. Okay. Here, actually. Oh. Uh, town administrator report. Um, just to update you. There were two RFPs issued since the last meeting. I issued an RFP for the ash tree removal project, um, posted to the website. Unlike prior years, I did put this in the time, Times Argus. I followed the pers purchasing policy fully this year. Um, so it was in the Times Argus. It's on the Vermont re Business Registry. Same thing for the Local Hazard Mitigation Planning Services RFP. Um, you all knew I was working on that. That was issued as well. Um, have already gotten a few responses that people will be 
responding, which I think is good, um, including regional planning. Um, so stay tuned for that. I gave people till March 5th, 14th for that. Um, one permit application, um, a 16, uh, for other than the curb cut thing, that's not accurate, um, but a 16 by 16 shed. That is it. Is it a bicycle shed? No, I don't think it's bicycle shed this time. Okay. And the time is incorrect for town meeting. I copied 6.30 p.m. for, obviously it's at 9.30 a.m. on March 5th. Yeah. Which I think everyone knows, but just to be clear. Yeah. So the... The zoning administrator hasn't been too busy, I guess. She has been busy, but with other things than permits. There have been a lot of questions with boundary line adjustments, oh, subdivisions. Okay. She has been speaking with a lot of attorneys, including our town attorney, on certain subjects. So no, she has been oh. has been busy. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. Good. I wonder because I see that she's got the twenty four hours in a week, and I wasn't quite sure yeah. how that time was being spent. So. Yeah. Fair question, I thought. But. Okay, good. Uh, what else do you have? That is it. We have no other business, so the thing that we'd be heading into would be the personnel matter. Sure. Yeah. I move to enter executive session to discuss the personnel matter. And since this is it, well, we're doing our own minute, so we can't tell the minute taker to go home. No. <laughs> <laughs> Recording, recording stopped. That's what we've done in the past. And we are going to come out of the, the executive session to adjourn the meeting. Exactly. So we can't send right. Arca home. No. Unfortunately. Right. Exactly. Who will be on the uh, No, we, we need to have a second and take a vote. Oh, yes. An executive second. Yeah. Second. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, we're out of the executive session at 9 o'clock. And. Do you, do you want someone else to state it? Uh, we are, author uh, okay, we sure, are yeah. uh, by consensus, <laughs> by consensus, we are authorizing the town administrator to post the town administrator position. Very good. Thank you. Nice job. <laughs> Thank you. We are regretfully authorizing the Very town good. administrator to post the TA position. Very true. Yeah. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Guys have it.